Welcome to IMSC A81, Linear Programming, Lecture 7B, and uh, talking about parametric analysis. <coughs> uh, going to slide 21 of your handout, and we're talking about parametric analysis. First, we discuss the change of cost factor. See what happened. If we change our cost factor, assuming that uh, the cost factor C is uh, perturbated along the cost direction of a C prom, uh, specific, uh, could be one element, could be a whole vector. So C hat will be the new uh, cost vector equals the original C, <coughs> equals to the original C plus a lambda times the C prom. C prom is the change of the cost vector. vector. Lambda is the multiplier. So <coughs> the first, uh, the optimal basic feasible solution for the following problem, minimize the C transpose times x um, <coughs> subject to ax equals to b, and x is non-negative. We can separate them into basic variable and non-basic variable, okay, um, respectfully. And we know that at the optimal, all the zj minus cj is supposed to be non-positive, less than or equal to zero for all j, even the basic col column and the non-basic column. For recompute row zero with the c prom involved, so we're going to, uh, using this new <coughs> C vector, C hat, which is a CB hat and a CN hat, separate still the same with the, <coughs> the original basic and non-basic variable set. So for all the C hat equals to CJ plus lambda times the C prime J, <coughs> okay, we will recalculate all the ZJ minus C hat j, uh -huh. c hat j, so using the new <coughs> cost vector. So here what we have is a cb times y and yj minus a c hat j, <coughs> so the c hat is the, the new cost vector, okay, after we perturbate along c prime. And let's just separate out the cb and CB equals to, <coughs> okay, let me change the color, okay, the CB transpose plus lambda times the C prime uh, B transpose times YJ, and also the CJ column as well, CJ plus lambda times the C prime J. So it doesn't matter if it's a uh, basic portion or non-basic portion on this same like this. Then we can reorganize. We're moving this to here and moving that to here. So let's see if we can <coughs> actually reorganize term. So this term we have down here, okay? This term we have down here is exactly the original zj minus cj without changing. And then the <coughs> final term will be fairly straightforward. Equals the lambda times the change of the zj prom minus cj prom. zj prom minus cj prom is basically the change of the z, uh, reduced cost. So the reduced cost can be also perturbated fairly easily uh, using uh, parametricalized by this uh, lambda parameter. <coughs> okay. If the case <coughs> is the case, if this case, uh, the zj prime minus cj prime here is less than or equal to zero, <coughs> we know that this part at the optimal origin is less than or equal to zero, plus something positive times negative. So, <coughs> so it's a negative plus negative, so therefore we don't have to worry. The new zj minus cj 
there's going to be less than equal to zero. So the current table is still optimal. Okay, <coughs> doesn't matter how big the lambda is, because the z prime j minus c prime j is less than equal to zero already. What if it's not? Let's go to the next slide. If in general, however, for some of the z j prime minus c j prime is greater than equal to zero, okay, for some j, for some of them. Then what's going to happen? <coughs> We're going to choose the minimum of negative zj minus cj. I know the zj minus cj currently is negative, so I'm putting a negative sign in front of it. So this term will be positive. Then divide by zj minus c, uh, zj, uh, z prom j minus c prom j, which is whatever is greater than zero. And we choose the minimal one. <coughs> That's what we call the lambda one. Okay, so we know now at this point, zj minus cj is less than or equal to zero for all of them, and then we we can see the next drawing. So this is our drawing: zj uh, zj minus cj plus lambda times zj uh, z prime j minus c prime j. Uh, so this portion is negative to begin with. Okay, so, so this portion is negative to begin with, with plus when lambda increases for each one of the vector j, j well, column j, j will have a different slope. It depends on the z prime j minus c prime j corresponding. And we just choose whoever lambda goes to a certain point, the zj minus cj. Uh, z hat j minus c hat j uh, becomes a positive, therefore the current op uh, tableau is no longer optimal. So this red line actually is one of those j, actually when lambda reaches the closest to zero, the minimum lambda one closest to zero, and make this tableau has a positive zj minus cj in a new term. So therefore, <coughs> we conclude that the reduced costs are now positive to begin with for all the z uh, lambda uh, between 0 to lambda 1. This purest uh, optimal feasible solution is still optimal. <coughs> Let's look at the example to see. So for example, minimize negative uh, x uh, minus 3x2 subject to x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 6. x3 is the slack variable. Negative x1 plus 2x2 plus x4 equal to 6. x4 is also a slack variable. And the original uh, cost co uh, vector is negative 1, negative 3, 0, and 0. Now we want to perturbate uh, along a vector called 2 and 1, 0, 0. So we want to see if x1, <coughs> c1 goes to every two units and c2 goes to one unit, what's going to be happening? What is range of the lambda of current tableau is still up to? Take a look at this tableau currently. Okay. <coughs> this is fairly easy for this. We calculate on the side of the screen. We know that x3 and x4 right now uh, x3 and x4 in this problem is the slack variable. Therefore, we can easily identify the B inverse matrices right here. All right. So the original zj minus cj at the optimal tableau is all negative, negative three, uh, five third, negative two, uh, two third. But with the lambda, how we get the five third of lambda? or negative one-third of lambda. That's fairly easy. <coughs> what we need to do is simply using uh, the 2, 1, which is, uh, so this portion is fairly easy, equals to 2, 1, CB. CB right now is the cost coefficient should be 
negative one and uh, negative one and negative three, but the uh, the changes will be two and one times this y one. Okay, two third and one third. This will give me five third times lambda. Okay. okay. So this is fairly easy. And also similar things we can see that Z4 minus C4 had equals to the original negative two third plus lambda times Z3 at Z4 prom minus C4 prom. And the C3 prom is going to be zero. C3 prom says it's zero. C4 prom also zero. So this would be equals to lambda times 2, 1 times this part of a inverse matrix, the y, y4 equals 2 lambda times 2, 1 times negative 1 third, 1 third equals uh, minus 0 equals to lambda times uh, negative 2 third plus 1 third will be negative 1 third. Okay, that's how the, these two are coming out like that. <coughs> Very simple calculation, okay? So we can recalculate the lambda portion of the lambda portion of <coughs> of uh, z prime minus c prime c three prime c three prime is zero in this case, so it doesn't matter. C four prime is also zero, so c four uh, z four prime equals the lambda times two times uh, two one, which is these two two one, which is c b uh, c c b prime times whatever y prime is uh, y column is y column is y4 equals to here negative one third and one third so this is how it is for the cost vector so based on this <coughs> we can see the next tableau here is the calculation we know that for this two, <coughs> Z3 prom minus C3 prom to be maintained uh, non-positive, Z4 prom minus, uh, Z4 hat minus C4 hat maintained non-positive. So lambda has to be less than or equal to one, or lambda has to be greater or equal to negative two. Since lambda is always positive, non-negative, so between 0 and 1, and this current tableau is still optimal, the previous tableau. If not, we can always, if lambda is greater than 1, let's go back to the previous. If lambda is greater than 1, and this uh, x3 will be entering, if lambda is greater than 1, x3 is entering, so then we have the next uh, tableau. Let's take a look. As so we will have this tableau, have the lambda is greater than 1. So this is the current. <coughs> if lambda is greater than 1, in this case, we can determine what is the <coughs> possible. So here what we have, since this portion for x1, lambda is uh, this z prom my uh, z one prom, uh, z prom one minus c prom one is negative, so there's there's no chance for lambda to be larger and x one can be coming in. The only concern is x four. X four means 
If we original, as right now is two and three are two and third. Uh, three and two are the basic variable. So this is zero and two is negative three. Sorry. Let's check. Negative three. Yeah. And, and multiply, multiply by y3. Three. Okay. Y4, sorry. Times y lambda and minus c4 from this is uh, still zero. So equals to lambda times zero negative three times negative one half and one half will be <coughs> negative two, three, half lambda. Okay. okay. So, so in this case, case <coughs> what we, we have is lambda two is going to leave the system, okay? And <coughs> lambda one, uh, four is going to come in. And that four is going to come in. That's, That's the case. We do one more pivot. So x3 and x4 now are x3 and x4. Now are the basic variable for the next tableau. And <coughs> x, uh, x1 and x2 are known basic variable. But look at that. The z right now, zj minus cj, z1 minus c1, and z2 minus c2 are positive. But if lambda is greater than <coughs> either one of those, let's see what happened. If lambda is greater than one half, okay, and one half, then x one's is going to have a negative z j minus c j. So it's have to. Okay, lambda has to be greater than one half. For x2, if lambda is greater than 3, then this is going to be negative still. So between 1, what I have, 1, 2, 3, and this tableau is still optimal. <coughs> okay? So let's look at the change of the cost. Initially, lambda equals to 0. We're at the negative 14. And then gradually the lambda increases, okay, until lambda equals to 1. And that particular moment, the z becomes a negative 6. But after lambda continue growing from 1 to 3, and the slope slightly change, and it reaches to 0 when lambda is greater than 3, okay? So this is what happen when the cost vector change and um, based on a, a parametric a parameter called lambda uh, going to a direction of C prime. So this function is always uh, concave and why is that? And we ask this question here and we expect you find out the answer. We talk about that uh, later on. 